you know, joy and happiness are not the same thing. And um, there's a complexity to an experience of joy that um, might include something that's not happy or not, that, that might include its, what we would think of it as its opposite. The sorrows that every single body carries that, you know, everybody has a sorrow and, or sorrows, and that somehow in connecting those sorrows that can lead to joy, uh, that it's the connection, not the superseding, not the obliteration of the sorrow, but the um, transcending of it into, into uh, an, an experience of connection. To me, like adult joy is something that is constituted as much by the awful as it is by the wonderful. Joy is a grown emotion. And it's an emotion that knows the terrible is, is um, plenty. You know, it knows that the terrible is plenty of our lives. Um, it knows that we will die. It knows that people we love will die and possibly terribly. Um, etc. It's just like it's part of the deal. But it also knows that there are all of these other things um, which are as much a part of our lives. Um, and which is why if we do, we, we live our lives, you know. Um, and so the, the uh, but what it feels like to me, and this feels really important, um, and I don't yet know quite how to articulate it, but I think it's very important to articulate, is that the process of witnessing one's own uh, joy, um, delight, etc., feels more rigorous um, to me than the opposite. I definitely think joy is part of humanity. I get a lot of questions asking, you know, in this political climate, like, where do you see joy? And I feel like joy is not, even though sorrow seems to be a very extreme of joy, um, they kind of all live within the same. Um, and that's what it means to be human. You can't take, you can't leave out exhaustion or sadness, sorrow, joy, pain without experiencing life. So it's all joy fits into what it means to be a human being. And um, I find joy in, in movement. So I was teased when I was younger and it, I didn't find joy necessarily like speaking um, and communicating in that way, but it was through my body that I was able to find self-expression and my identity. The reason I wrote those essays every day for a year is because I was like, this needs to be a practice. This needs to be a sort of discipline of attending to what delights me, which is not at all to negate or not attend also to what is sorrowful. In fact, what delights me is more sort of luminous because of what is sorrowful. Like that's just kind of, and that to me is sort of more like how I'm thinking about uh, Joy. I mean, it's sort of, that's what gratitude's about. Gratitude is about knowing many things are true at once. I think that part of a real experience of joy is knowing that it's, it's very finite. And that, and that the other side of that is knowing that actually your, your existence, your life is also very finite. Everybody has a sorrow and or sorrows and that somehow in connecting those sorrows that can lead to joy, uh, that it's the connection, not the superseding, not the obliteration of the sorrow, but the um, transcending of it into, into uh, an, an experience of connection and acknowledgement.
people would be like, man, how are you? you're so happy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, there is tons of grief in this, you know, there's tons of grief in this, you know. Um, 